Hi guys, my name is Kaylee Tutha. I'm with the Colorado Mountain Club. I'm a trip leader, I'm an assistant instructor for some of the snow courses, and I'm a council member at the Boulder Group. So today I'm going to show you how I transition on my split board. I've gotten a lot of compliments that I'm fast at it, um, and that's one of the best things I can hear, especially from some of my skier friends um, while we're out. So transitioning and transi transitioning quickly takes time and practice. And I think we've all got a little extra time to practice some skills indoors um, during this time. So I just wanted to share with you how I transition. And there's many different ways to do it. Do what works for you. And if you've got comments of how you do it differently, suggestions, some other tips and tricks you want to share with other people, please put them in the comments of this video. Okay. So we're skinning along. We just got to the top of an awesome line, ready to transition. So the first thing I do is get out of my get out of my bindings. So I'm wearing socks because I'm inside today. Um, but if you really want to practice, you know, put your goggles on, your gloves on, your boots on. Um, be hardcore about it. So when I take my bindings off. I make sure that the high back is switched from skin mode to ride mode. So this just allows your ankle a little bit more forward lean, so it's a little bit more aggressive on the ride down. Personal preference, whether you like to ride with it up or down. Um, these are spark bindings, so yours may be a little different. And then I take the high back and I stick it right in the snow so it doesn't go anywhere and you don't lose that piece of equipment, especially on a windy day. Now I'm ready to take my skins off. So there's a lot of different ways people do this. You can just turn your board over on the surface of the snow. Um, you can fold them on, on themselves. Um, with skin savers, without. Some people at this time like to put their planks right in the snow so they don't go anywhere if it's windy. That's all fine. Um, I'm gonna assume it's a pretty nice day. Little wind and we're not in a rush. So I'm gonna use my skin savers. So what I'll do is I'll get them ready. Um, and if it's not windy, you can just lay them right here. Sometimes I'll put a boot on the, the back of them. I'll release my tail clip. I've got a Jones quick tension tail clip. Yours might be a little different. And then what I like to do is lay the board back in the snow, put my boot on the tail, and slowly pull up the skin and then pull the plank towards me. And then at this point, I do stick the plank right in the snow. And I've got my skin here. It's your choice whether you wanna just fold it on itself or if you wanna lay it down on a skin saver. If it's windy, this is kinda tricky to do. Now I'm ready for the next plank. Fold them up, put them in my skin bag. Don't forget to put them back in your backpack or in your shell if you're going to be doing some more skinning. At this point, you've got to put your planks back together. And this is what a lot of people struggle with. You've got to find a somewhat even surface to kind of get it lined up just to get you started. And some boards have different clips. I've got Karakoram clips on my board and I'll usually do these first. And then I'll go ahead and do the tip and tail clips. And if at this point you've got a little gap between your planks, that's okay. Sometimes snow gets in there and sometimes there is just a gap. Once you put your bindings on, that gap should be eliminated. So when you go to put your bindings on, just make sure that your, your clips are on the outside. This step can also 
also take a little while in the field. If you've got snow built up or ice built up, you may need to scrape some away from your pucks or from the binding itself. And that's it. You're ready to go. Um, while you're waiting for all your skier friends with their frame bindings, you can crack a beer, hang out, just chill. <laughs>